Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. And you may have already seen that I've been busy working with Kay and Maggie, who are the ladies from Cool Cats Crafts. And we've come up with another album for you. Um, there is a kit available as well. And this kit is called Morgana. So it's coming along our Arthurian range that we've had before with Arthur, Merlin and Guinevere. Now Guinevere was a rectangular um, album with an aperture and it was quite popular. So I've come up with a square one. And in true Paul fashion, I've come up with an album which is very paper efficient and it's an eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. And this whole album was decorated using just a single eight by eight pad of Graphic 45's Enchanted Forest. So we'll have a little look through. So the main feature of this kit is that you get this pre-cut aperture frame for you and it's in quite sturdy as well. So I wouldn't have been able to cut that aperture so neat and precise in such a thick material. So the fact that it's done for me is brilliant and we get a nice strong piece of acetate as well just to protect our cover and then as you open it um i didn't use my faux miters this time i've actually used the enchanted forest main paper and you probably can't see but i've glossy accented all the way around with the bondo circles and all the way down these green strips and the fact that you can see through this, the piece I cut away from here, I did use somewhere else. But because you get three sheets, I managed to decorate the front and the back and page one. So I was really making the most out of that um, main sheet, image sheet from my Graphic 45 pad. And again, there's more ac uh, glossy accents here. The armour is glossy accented. I was thinking, do I go for the dragon as well? But because she was there, so I decided not to. Because I've only done her dress, not her skin. Don't think you want glossy skin. So because you can see this through the cover, I've kept page one simple. Pretty much the same as I did in Guinevere. But there is room then to add. There is a photo mat. I think I might have moved it somewhere else. So I'll have to find that photo mat. No, it's not in the pocket page. There is a photo mat which goes in. Let me grab one of my other. This is the Make a Splash. This is one we'll be doing in a tutorial. But you can see there's a large photo mat for a, a five by seven photo, which fits nicely into our front cover. So it's a cover, but also a photo space. In the tutorial, I'll show you that all these pages are in fact a pocket page and we can make the um, photo mats to go inside as well for six by four and five by seven. So we turn over. So this is a tuck spot. So I can take some photo mats and you can tuck them. You probably want a smaller one than this. Or even some of your little ephemera pieces from whichever pad you're using, you can tuck them in. So this one, I've used my swivel closures. So it's got a little flap. And you can see the patterns run across two pages. So the way I've worked this out is taking my pages and trying to make um, a two page spread using the same sort of color scheme. So everything flows across. And that's my, probably my favorite swivel shape as well. And then this pocket is wide enough to put your three by four photos in. Yeah, three by four photos in there. You can decorate it, you can add extra bits if you wanted to. But there's also enough space to put five by seven photo mats in the side. Or some smaller six by fours. And just to use up this right hand space, I've added a little magnetic closure. So you can tuck a little ephemera, a little photo, and it magnetizes shut there. Let's just take this 
with us through the album. So then we've got this little nice easy catch up page and I've used the back twins here. So we've used the belly bands and I've also used the tags. So we've seen there's um, tutorials on how to use the back twin tags to make photo mats on my channel already. More of our photo mats, big and small. And in the finishing touches video where we assemble it and add some little final little bits, I also give you a little tutorial on how to make a photo wallet out of um, a six by four piece of paper. So if you've got the 12 by 12 sheets, you can actually make six of these. Or if you're decorating in the back, you can make three of these from one sheet. Um, because you get the tape in the kit, we use the tape just to make that. And as you can see, it's just two lots of pockets on either side so that we can just stuff and stuff. Now, I could have just glued both sides and had more tuck spots, but I glued everything down um, just as a decorative piece on this one. Just move on. And we've got spaces for our six by four photos here. So you just put a six by four photo straight in, or you can add a photo mat. So this is a belly band. So it's been designed for us to put one of our larger photo mats, but you can put a few pieces behind it then and still have room to put things in here and a corset closure page i don't think it would be a paul cool cats album without a corset and this can be made if you've got a piece of acetate or without so it lifts up you can put your photos the photo mats in bring it down and then up, down, up, and over the top, like so. I said each of these is a pocket page, so we can put some more photo inserts in there. I see this photo um, mat actually is the waist from our front. And, you know, it was a shame to waste that, so I just trimmed it down and mounted onto some black card. And this one sort of utilizes some triangular pockets, which is something I haven't done much of, but I, I felt like I fancied to go. So it sort of all ties in across the two pages. And again, we've got our photo mats here. We can fit some in here. And a great way to use up one of our more decorative pages because it's just a full eight by eight sheet there. And then you can tuck things in and also a little magnetic closure if you wanted it higher up. So that was Morgana. And I feel like this paper sort of really fits our Arthurian Morgana tales um, theme as well with the Enchanted Forest. You can imagine with the knights and the dragons and everything. So that is Morgana. So if you want more details head over to Paper Crafting with Paul, which is my Facebook group, or the Cool Cats Crafts uh, Facebook group. Just type in Cool Cats. So it's cool, C-O-O-L, but K-A-T-Z. Um, but there'll be links below for you to, to go over and for their website. And that's all you need to do then is find out which uh, papers you want to use and get going. So thank you for watching and I'll see you all again soon.